Ladies and gentlemen, I think that our time on this planet is finally over. I think it's finally time we packed things up and moved into the galactic hub. That's something that I wanted to do in a long while and I see a lot of you guys also wanted me to like go there and post the coordinates to my future base if that is going to happen, which it will. I'm just going to dismantle everything, like all of this hard work, everything that you see here is about to be gone. But before going there, there's a couple of things that we still need to do. So first of all, I still need to like clear my inventory a little bit. So I'm going to have to like sell a lot of stuff that I don't currently need. And there's also a lot of stuff that we still need to do in the Galactic Hub. Like I didn't really find a proper base yet. I keep finding good looking planets but typically somebody else already claimed them so I don't really like to like claim their bases or you know destroy their hard work because that is not something that I want to do. I want to find like a fresh system that nobody has ever been into. Still in the galactic hub but I'm gonna give it one more go in this episode. Hopefully we will find it by the end of it and if not I have a base that was used by somebody at some point but they stopped using it for some reason. Probably they quit playing probably they forgot about it probably they moved bases who knows but I'm going to show you the planet that I'm talking about and if you guys like it I'm gonna sell it up there I love it honestly in my opinion it, the planet looks gorgeous but you're gonna see it in a second so in the meantime I'm just gonna like salvage all of these nice little domes and yeah inventory already full this is the second time I'm making such a big move like I'm genuinely moving into one of the most crowded well kind of you know one of the best regions you can be in this game so you know I'm, I have to pack everything up you know I can't just leave everything here be it will take like too long to gather all of these little things again so you know I'm trying to do my best to collect everything that I can and move over as soon as possible now I also have in mind a couple of other things like we're gonna visit some other places I am going to probably organize a meeting with somebody I'm gonna keep it secret for now because I'm not sure how it's gonna go but I'm going to try to like organize a meeting at some point in No Man's Sky maybe get a bunch of people in and you know just document our journey because I think that would be like super interesting and super fun we could visit each other's spaces it's like having friends coming over to you and you know visiting your house and all of that stuff so that is something that I like want to do so I'm preparing for that I'm preparing in advance for that I'm going to build like one of the best farms you're probably ever going to see in this game I'm also going to like settle up some other interesting stuff stuff and you know all comes in time you know everything one at a time because you know that's basically how things go oh my god dude that sh scared the hell out of me I just heard some noise and it was this guy Jesus Christ dude <laughs> you scared the heck out of me I even forgot the sound of sentinels dude that that's how scared I was like I for genuinely forgot the sound of sentinels you know scanning me and whatever you know it almost makes me sad and brings tears in my eyes knowing that i'm going to delete something that i've put in so much work and you know it's like it's already three quarters there like we have like a few more domes at some point we call this place home and now i'm pretty much gonna have to say goodbye so yeah goodbye radioactive planet you have served me well enough you have provided me with enough radiation to sustain my farm. It was a good, you know, it was a good thing. But uh, I think it is time to go. And of course my inventory is full. Like, holy hell, dude. There's simply not enough left. And like, wait a minute. I have a freighter, though. Like, I have the freighter. Why am I, why am I even boring? Like, I can put everything in my freighter now. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is pretty much it. Jesus Christ. See, this is what happens when you're a hoarder. You, you you have too much in your inventory. It's it's unimaginable how much I have right now. Like, pretty much everything is filled, dude. Okay, and I think this is about everything that I can gather. Like, these things over there, the plants, I cannot gather them. And everything else, I cannot gather either. Okay, so now that we are kind of done here, I'm gonna show you my first option when it comes to my galactic base. So, first of all, we're gonna go to this... An ice bug, whatever the name is. You've seen this planet before. It's gorgeous and it previously hosted somebody else's farm. Unfortunately, they pretty much abandoned it. I really hope that the user or, you know, owner of the previous base will not come back. That is why I'm still a little bit reluctant and that is why I'm still going to probably search a few more systems to find a better one and, you know, we'll make 
like a top see which one we like the best and then we'll settle up but i just want to show this one because it's definitely on the list i definitely like it and i think i think i'm even going to settle down really close to these communication stations because yeah this is basically the base you know or what is left of it because it's definitely clear that the previous owner has moved away so yeah this is like my first option it looks absolutely gorgeous. The grass is like one of my favorite. It has dandelions. It has flowers. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much fauna. It seems to be devoid. And yeah, this is like, this is something that I have set up. Or did somebody else set up? But basically, this is like the coordinates to this location. It's this string of numbers. I even have a portal activated at some point somewhere around you know that region but one thing that i really like about this planet is that as you can see even though it's lush it has a lot of trees and sentinels are pretty okay so i'm loving this view right now but we'll see i'm gonna check a few other systems as well and i'm going to aim for mostly high value prosperous affluent opulent and something like that i like this one for example is prosperous so everything from prosperous and up is something that I'm aiming for. So that arc is the region and just to show you a little bit of the surroundings this is the main region of the hub right here. Yeah, chunk of void, this is it. You're probably going to recognize it by the fact that it's you know this pillar over here like if I'm moving around you will see it's basically a pillar and you, you, can, you can see that we have visited a few systems here even though I don't think it recognizes that I have visited a lot of them, not only the ones that are circled. And this is basically top of the tree too. This is its name on PS4. On PC it's called Circased. And it's something... It, it basically hosts the current capital, I think. I'm not sure though. So, I'm not gonna go straight into like this hub over here, even though it kind of sounds tempting. Chances might be that somebody already settled there, and I'm gonna try to find a good looking system that has and hosts a planet, hopefully with a moon. And it seems that we have found a wealthy system with a moon and plenty of planets. So, hopefully, it's a lush moon because I really want to like sell up right there. And I'm not gonna make a living glass farm anymore, I'm gonna make an explosives farm. I realize that I'm not going each half an hour back to my base, so it's not really worth it to make a living glass farm and waste my time on that. And it seems that there's a lot of conflict in the region, but let's see what do we have here. Like, there's a moon. It seems we are the first contact, and yes, that is actually a Viridison moon. Okay, so we might have struck gold because that is exactly what I was looking for basically a lush moon So I have the nice big planet or the mother planet in the background of my base That is what I was aiming for because in one of the first episodes when I was playing in the galactic hub I found somebody's base on a red moon. It was one of the most gorgeous views I have seen in this game so far It has some islands. It's something that I'm not really fond of islands and not something that I like I pretty much prefer continents, in this game at least. So, plenty of fauna, there's the big planet over there, gazing upon us. So, you know, I'm liking the view, but there's kind of too much rockiness for my liking. These trees are like one of the best. It pretty much makes this planet seem like it's in a perpetual autumn season. But there seems to be a lot of hostile animals here. I mean, extreme sentinel planets, not even, not even animals, it's extreme sentinel. Which means that we have rare resources on this one, like probably for some vertex cubes, something like that, but... You know, as much as I like this view, I don't like the moon too much. It's like one of the uglier lushness that I'm seeing. A lot of these plants and grass don't fit together too well. And it doesn't appear to be discovered by anybody. And I think we have found the plutonium I was looking for. How is it so far though? I think there's... I think there's a bunch over here really close to us. I don't know, but this is just my luck. Like every time I try to find something, it's always like on the other side of the map. Even if it's like the most insignificant thing imaginable. Or maybe I'm just landing in like the worst regions. That might be the case too, you know, because my luck is not really the best. Like, I wish I could increase my luck somehow. 
And it definitely seems like this planet is losing its lushness. It would be amazing if planets changed over time depending on natural events. But for now, I don't think this is the one for us. I think we can do so much better and that is what I'm planning to do. So let's go ahead, let's try to find another one. Okay, let's see an affluent system with a moon. It might be good. Oh wow, this is the most orange system I've seen so far. It seems relaxed, so at least that is going on. Let's see, what about the moon? Okay. Humid? It doesn't look bad. If it's humid, it means it's still, you know, lush. Because otherwise there's no point in being humid if it's not lush. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, it is red. Exactly how I needed it to be. Let's go to the bright side of it. And basically land, there's a lot of lakes, but there's a lot of lushness from what I'm seeing. Even if it's raining, I don't really mind it too much. But I don't think we'll know until we get down there and it pretty much changed completely. <laughs> okay, see this is the view that I was looking for. Unfortunately, uh, the planet itself or the moon does not look that great. Oh yeah, it pretty much changed completely. I was expecting it to remain, you know fully green, I mean fully red. It's still not bad. It's okay looking. There's some trees happening. There's the planet over there in the background. There's a lot of terrain. There seems to be something happening over us. I'm not, sh I'm not seeing anything though because it's too bright. Oh, somebody's attacking my ship! Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize there's so big creatures here. I'm gonna have to keep my distance a bit. Okay, so it's a timid hippopotamus. Whoa, I just realized we have just found our first hippos. I wanna take a screenshot of you, but this genuinely looks like the first hippo we have seen in this game so far. Interesting. You know, the moon does not look that bad. I mean, if we can find a location that kind of stays how it is right here, it might be good. So I'm gonna definitely set this up, but still second or third place. I don't think that this would qualify as a first option. And yeah, hello there too. It seems that he likes scanning me a lot, so... But I think we have seen enough. I'm liking this place, it looks pretty decent and this is definitely something that I'm gonna keep in mind. So this is another location that we can potentially settle down in. I'm still debating though, this is definitely a bit better. The green moon was also good looking but not as good as this. So we're gonna move over and it seems like this region, the day cow terminus, is not as discovered as the previous regions. It's still very close to all the necessary places and this is a prosperous system with yet again another moon. Does it keep its beauty though? It might. There's long serpents on the ground. But it does not really keep all of its beauty. And I don't think this is even close to qualifying as overgrown. I am seeing it being quite good looking. Oh! Look at this! There's jumping little creatures again. These are like one of the strangest I've seen so far. What are even those? Like it's like those crab thingies decided to not use their like little limbs anymore and just jump instead. That is actually cool. They're kind of freaky as well. Like I could imagine one of these things jumping on my face and completely ripping it off. And eating, you know, the insides. But basically, you know, it's 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 kind of cute, cute creature. I like it. The terrain generation is quite wild. It's like nothing I have seen so far. Like there's a lot of mountains, you know, kind of mountains, and you know, valleys, and there's even like these things. Holy hell, dude! It's like it's like Mr. Hands is jumping, but somehow he forgot that he's not attached to anybody. But still, there seems to be nothing aggressive here, at least as of now, unless they're the aggressors, but I am liking the grass though. It looks really cute and holy hell, like we're really on the top of things. 
There's stuff down there. I am gonna I'm not gonna lie, the planet looks magnificent, but I don't think it's the place I would like to settle. The green is the lushness is here, but you know it's not as overgrown as I was imagining it. And it's still definitely good looking, but I don't know. I think we can find better. Like way better. It is a prosperous system, so who knows? Oh, there's like a... Oh, yeah, I thought it was a huge creature, but it was not. So I'm just gonna check a few things out right here. Like, this would be close to how a base would look like in a location such as this. On a planet such as this. Wait, there's a galactic hub terminal? <laughs> what? Out in the open? Did somebody forget it here? Like, everything in the system seems to be jumping. Oh, is that? I finally found one of these. <laughs> a jumping mushroom. This is something that I was searching for one of these for a while right now. Like, holy hell, dude. Look at these things. It's like that Pokemon. Like, uh, how was it? How was it even called? Look at these. It even has small eyes. They are so strange looking. I have no idea what this is. But it definitely looks like a Pokemon, dude. The view is actually gorgeous. It looks pretty. But, you know, we could do better. Like, I'm finding better and better planets. That is a good thing. So, you know, in case something happens, I have options, okay? It's it's not that bad. In the meantime, let's discover this region a little bit more. I'm liking it so far. There's a lot of stuff in it. It's really close to the galactic hub. It's actually inside the hub, as a matter of fact. But, okay, that is the moon over there. Let's see. Is it exactly what we're looking for or is it not? Oh yeah, and it specifically says Lush Moon. I'm liking that I'm the first contact. It's a wealthy system or a prosperous one, I kind of forgot. It was like two seconds ago that it told me, but I forgot. And I like the background. It looks like proper space, not some frosting on a cake. But no doubt about it, but there are some lakes or at least landmass and some water as well. And of course, it kind of lost. It lost its appeal. Okay. As a matter of fact, this is not that bad. Choking humidity. Fauna occasional flora regular. Okay. Oh, what is that? So there's some creatures here too. So pretty much means that we're not gonna be alone. That is something that I really don't want. Like, I don't want to be alone, honestly, on a planet. And there are some big-looking creatures. Hopefully, they won't attack me. That is pretty much... Pretty much a chill creature. Like, these are some nice-looking ones. Six meter tall. Wait a minute. I think we just struck gold. Can this be our new base? Our new home planet? Our new home moon, actually? Because we have never settled down in a moon before. Could this be it? Oh my god, dude. That scared the heck out of me. What is this? Yo, these are some huge looking creatures. Maybe this was like the best idea ever to come into this place. Oh my god, dude, look at these nice looking beings. This is indeed the most beautiful place I've seen so far. Like, it hands down one of the best looking animals in No Man's Sky. It kind of rivals the Diplos that we've seen. It definitely rivals the Diplos. And look at these titans, man. Some huge looking titans ready to basically kill you. Whoa, dude, like this one almost looks like he's gonna attack me. He's unconcerned and pretty much eats vegetables. Like this is one of the most beautiful creatures I've seen so far. And that one as well. Oh, there's some small looking thingies too. What? what is that? What is this? This is so cute, dude. I could almost see this as, you know, a sentient being oh he's he's very interesting holy hell he's actually extremely creepy let me see his face jesus christ look at those eyes look at those empty eyes devoid of any compassion and life these must be the overlords of this place okay then i think we just found home I did not expect to find something like this so fast, but I like the view, I cannot lie, I like the view a lot. So I'm gonna pretty much claim this base right here, and I think it's gonna be good enough, I think. I think we have found our planet, our base. 
And I think we can start to like finally sell things up for people and it's lo it looks gorgeous honestly, it looks amazing. And I am loving the mother planet right there in the background, it's gonna be amazing, I'm gonna settle up the farm right here, it's gonna have everything that you need. I'm still debating what to build and you know, you guys tell me if you like this one or if you liked any of the previous ones, I still am open for debate, you know, finding a planet is not that simple, especially when it comes to selling up for good. This was basically everything for today, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, drop a subscribe, and please tell me in the comment section if you like this moon or if I should even settle here. Should I keep searching? Should I go back to one of the previous ones that I had? Um, and yeah. That is basically it for today, so peace out.